But you need some way to get that up and out of the way. Chris was saying last year the broccoli rubber bands. Rubber bands work. This thick rubber bands are tie wrap. broccoli. This is an old piece of sneaker <laughs> tied with a bow on each end that worked on my skis and looked like it's going to work on yours. Okay, and that just holds it up out of the way for you. Um, I don't have these. These are old vices, so they don't have that parabolic. I mean that um, trapezoidal. These are square. The new ones have inserts you can put in so that it'll clamp your skis if you want a flat file. But I don't. I don't ever flat file on bottoms. I don't, I, okay. Do you have a left and a right ski? Oh uh, yeah. The shovel says that, that's the left. How do you know? Because this one has an R on it. Oh, this says left. <laughs> Jeez, I'm a rocket scientist. Okay, <laughs> so the left ski, this is going to be your inside edge. What I do is I, I sharpen both edges the same and in the morning, left and right, and then I switch them in the afternoon. That way, because this is be your most used edge. In the afternoon, this edge will be nice and fresh for you. Okay, so this this will be grinding on your uphill side for a turn to the left, but it won't be taking a lot of heat. It probably won't get worn down or, you know, it's burred up as this edge. So I always swap my skis morning and afternoon. I never thought about that. Yeah, it's a good, it's a great way to have fresh edges in the afternoon almost by switching skis. That's right, you're always on the same edge when you Exactly. You usually, yeah, the uphill edge is engaged a little bit, but there's not a lot of pressure on it. So if you skim across the rock or if you've a lot of hard ice out there, it's not getting beat up very much. So it'll always be fresher. So when it comes to, um, so, just, so just let's just run our fingers along here. Okay, and get a feel. You feel that? That's not horrible. I don't feel a lot of real bad burrs, but I use the diamond. But when I go like this, it's barely taking, taking any skin. So this is not bad. These aren't, these aren't real bad. Um, and the bottoms, good. I can still see original structure. See these little lines in it? These lines going this way. That's original structure from the ski. So this bottom's got a couple of scratches, not even worth filling really. Only thing you want, may want to do with those scratches is to scrape them with your metal scraper. You know what I mean? To, to if there are any high spots on scratches, on fine little scratches, just scrape them off with a, with a scraper so they don't affect the way the ski that's runs. The plastic? That's the metal one. I would scrape. I would scrape little scratches just to make like this one here that goes across the grain. Just scrape this at some point before you wax it just to make sure there's no high edges curled up. And if it's a deep one, we have to fill it. I, I didn't bring a candle with me, a P-Tex candle, but that's just melted, drippy. Have you done that? No. Okay. Get a black candle from the ski shop. It's P-Tex. You, it, you get it burning. You hold it up against your metal file and drip it, you know, and then you just put it up against the ski and fill in the hole real good, and then you scrape it with, the, with a metal scraper to get off the excess piece of cake. If you get a bad one, you don't have any bad ones on this ski. Okay, so the tools that I that I use besides this little this little side bevel kit, which is the, you know, really important to me. I, I've only had it a couple years. You know, if in doubt, do it by hand. I mean, I've only had this a couple years and, you know, I went all the way up through the ranks without one of these, without any of these, doing it by hand. So, um, you know, don't let that stop you from tuning your own skis. You know, just be gentle with, with the tools. Um, these are these are stones that I got from Jimmy. You know, they're about 10 bucks a piece. This is a coarse one. You know, maybe uh, 300 grit. This is a uh, medium, which is like 600 grit, mm -hmm. diamond stone. That's and there's, and there's, a, there's a green one down there that's like 1,200 grit, which I haven't gotten yet. That's okay. a finishing, though. No, no. Oh, no? The, the coarse one? This is how you save your files. The metal, the metal files you use won't last long, to begin with. The big but those files, you don't use those? No. Really? No. All right. The, the big ones are good for, for flat filing the bottoms, uh -huh. which I don't do the way I do it. Okay. These little ones work well in this tool. Okay. This is half of a. This is called a panzer file, by the way. That is the aggressive tool for getting plastic out of your way. That really saves you a lot of time. This is what it looks like the way you, the way you buy them. What's it called? Panzer file. It's like a body file that you use for work in um, cars. Cars, yeah. You know the uh, when when you patch up and use uh, fiberglass and cut, right? and filler. Right. That's what they use those for. But it's a real aggressive, and you just the guy at the shop just puts it in the vice and snaps it off for me. This is an old one now. Um, but this one needs to get broken up so I can use it. Well, panzer file, big time saver. Okay. And I use it a lot, believe it or not. And when, when I show you, you're going to be amazed how good this is. Okay? And this is just a coarse, 
regular ski tuning file, but you can just get a mill bastard, 12 inch mill bastard, maybe break it in half. Because uh, I like short pieces. The way the parabolic shape of skis now dictates that a long piece is going to follow the contour not as well as a short piece. Okay, plus you get twice the use. You know, you cut up your half, you got two halves, and it's lasting twice long. So the ones you buy at a hardware store will work fine. These ones you get down to shop cost a little more, they'll last longer, and they're wider, which means when you got to clamp it into a tool, you want part of it hanging off. It, it's easier to clamp and connect. So you can get these down there. They last better. But you can use anything. This is still, yeah, this is a coarse, like a bastard file. But this is specifically for ski tuning. I went through my whole skiing career using stuff I got at the hardware store. You know, I used a little 12 inch or 8 inch. I used the short ones a lot there and didn't break them or anything. Okay. Um, so with or without the tool, I always start with, with a coarse diamond stone. Because when you're hitting rocks and you've got burrs and black stuff, that's all case hardened. The heat from the impact causes a little case hardening there. So that's ruin a metal file. That's what these are for to get started. So I just take this, and this is what I do to the bottoms, you know. I just run them along the bottom like this. And you can feel, if you go easy, I put most of it on the bottom and then I lean it in because if there's a one degree bevel, it's going to be the bottom's going to be angled that way slightly. But you can feel when it's getting a little bite. They don't want to jig this? Go ahead, do that. Just nice and easy. Just like a third of it sticking out over the top. Nice gentle press. Yeah, mo most of it. Yeah, most of it on the, on the ski, so you don't roll it over. Just leave a little edge of it, and and curl it in towards the edge, so you feel it start to bite a little. You can feel when it's riding on plastic or when it's carving on the when it's hitting the edge. But why don't you want to use a little hand piece to hold the? Uh... Well, this is one on the bottom now, right now. Okay. Right. I understand. We don't need anything for the bottom yet. Have you have done any of this at all? No. Not never. Okay. Feel it when it's, it's going light. one way, yeah. It's nice and, you know, start out gentle, and then you can, you know, as you get more steady with it. Are you... But you can't really do any harm with a diamond. Are you stone. only um, pressure on one way? Or this can go back and forth. Back and forth. Yeah, take it and, and, and work a section that's comfortable across the front of your body. Just wing, zing, zing. And all you need is a quick pass. Okay, and then I lay it, and this is how I used to find, I tune without, without that tool, whether, whether it's this or a file. You lay it on the edge, and you use your, I put my fingers underneath it, and use my fingers up against the bottom of the ski as a guide to keep myself from rolling it over and dulling the edge worse than it already is, okay? But, you know, go slow at first till you get the feel for it, but you can feel when it's, you know, you want to, you want to bend this down till it's just touching the edge, that's where all the nicks are, and you want to try and get the black stuff off. And you can hear it and feel it when it, when it grabs a bad spot. And you don't need, you only need a couple passes. So I'm missing something. I, I, I don't understand then when you would use this jig. Just just oh, wait okay, and see. Yeah, we're gonna go step by step the way I do it at home. Feel it? You feel mm -hmm. it biting, right? Yeah, sure. Feel the junk you're taking off already? Mm-hmm. Oh no, shark king lesson. <laughs> yep. Now hold it. We're holding it like um, okay, like that. Both thumbs here, and that mm -hmm. just, and then you roll it into you feel it start to purchase on the very edge a little bit. And just press easy. You don't have to press hard. You can't do any harm when you're learning how to do this by going gentle at first. And when you get your confidence, you know you can add more. But pressure is not needed if you have the right tools and they're clean and sharp. You don't need a lot of pressure. Better to make more passes. Is there a way to clean those? Clean the tool. Yeah, this I cleaned that twice last night because it, these diamond stones. Yeah, like a brush. Yeah, well, this is um, the the diamond stone. Um, I take in. I've got a sponge with this on one side and a sponge on the other. Just soapy water. See, how, this collects wax, and after a while, you'll feel it get slippery and won't bite. So you just got to scrub it off with the green, you know, hot soapy water and a, and a scrub thing and it takes all the wax out of it you know this needs cleaning again I cleaned it last night and I did my skis and now it needs it again and this is card file for getting the wax and junk out of your out of your files which hardware store 
and this just needs soap and water and a scrub.